everyone today i am bringing you a review on the semi new um physicians formula wiley uh horn collab and uh, yeah but this is what it looks like this is the inside um it comes with two highlighters two blushes and two bronzers Though I have to say that I believe during production, mine got a little bit um, messed up because I feel like this bronzer is a little bit darker than this one. And this one's supposed to be the deep bronzer and this one is supposed to be um, the sun, sunset bronzer, which is supposed to be more glowy, but this one's the glowy one and this one's the more darker one, so. I don't know. Um, well, let's move on to the swatches, guys. I am going to be swatching um, Whimsical, which is the first and lightest highlight. And next, it's. Um, Golden Hour. The second highlighter. Now moving on to the blushes. We are doing apricot. Which I do have to say they look um, like they might have a little bit of a sheen but they're actually matte um, or at least they look matte on the skin when you apply it. Next, we have Wildflower, which is a little bit more of a mob, darker mauvey color compared to Apricot, which is a bright peachy color. Now we're moving on to what is labeled as Deep Bronzer, but in my personal opinion, might be Sunset Bronzer. And then, we move on to the sunset bronzer which again in my opinion i believe is deep bronzer so yeah guys those are the swatches for the um, physicians formula wiley collab um, I really like it. Um, after I show you a bit of the application, I will um, let you know how um, I feel about the palette in and of itself, how if it's a thing that you should go out and purchase. Um, and yeah, so let's move on to um, the live application. <laughs> Okay, so here starts the tutorial for, or not tutorial, but like the, um, gosh darn it, what is it that I'm doing again? Um, oh yes, we are trying out the new palette from Physicians Formula, um, Whaley Collection. So here is, um, the application process. So, as you can tell, you know, it comes with um, two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers. I always go in with a bronzer first. I feel like um, the deep bronzer is very sheen, and the um, um, what is it? sunset bronzer is a little bit deeper. And I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like this one's a lot lighter than the actual deep bronzer, which I do own. So give me a moment. Let me go get that. Here it is. This is the deep bronzer. This is what it looks like on the inside. Yes, I've worn it up a, pr a pretty good bit. And... Let's do side by side swatches. So that's the original deep bronzer. 
I can hardly tell on my skin tone, which is why I have the deep one. So there it is. Now, the deep one here is the one on top. So let's grab it and let's swatch it right on top of that one. So there you go. You can see the difference. See, it's a little bit more orangey. And this one's uh, the original deep bronzer is actually more on the uh, cool side. So I prefer that. And then let's see how the sunset bronzer, this one, compares. Okay. So let's take a little bit of that. I've been wiping off my finger just in case you guys are wondering. And let's swatch that underneath. Right? So as you can tell, this one is a little bit deeper, but it's also a little bit orange. This one is still cooler toned. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Sunset Bronzer first. And then I'm going to touch up the perimeters of the face with the deep bronzer. I think they might have just um, switched them out. I think maybe um, during packaging this was supposed to be the sunset bronzer and this one was supposed to be the deep bronzer. But um, who knows. I'm just going to take a regular angled bronzer brush and I'm going into the sunset bronzer just a little bit. It does have some kickback. And then um, I tap it on the top to just, you know, get the bristles evenly coated. And then I go in. Hmm. That looks good on my skin, actually. Hmm. Really like that. I like to focus the most pigment right here on back side and then I drag it forward. See the difference? Pretty good. I actually really like it. Blend it again. Just so you guys know. I go pretty heavy with bronzer. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. And then I'm going to set it down. And then I'm going to go on the perimeters of the face. That actually looks pretty decent. I like it. It does not, it is a little bit more orange than the other one, but it does not pull orange on me, which I really, really appreciate. Ooh. We're nice and bronzed now. Yay. Okay. Then, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I like going in with the highlight next. Should we do our nose? We should probably do our nose first. Give me one second. Let me see if I can do a light nose contour with this. So, there you go. Mm, you can actually tell that it's orangey here on this part right here. Wow, look at that. Right? Okay. And then this side. Hmm. It does pull very orange on the nose. So 
not good for contouring but i usually do this with the um deep bronzer the original one not from palettes and i like it better with the other bronzer so okay moving on to highlighter which highlighter should we take still pretty light i want to see if this one in whimsical is going to work out for me because uh, I'm light right now, but I'm not that light. So, hmm. And yes, I do know that their bronzers are um generally better applied. Whoa. <laughs> they are generally better applied with um your finger and then blend it out with a uh, sponge or brush but look at that that looks really nice okay so let's try it out with the finger and the other one by the way i'm just lightly pressing my finger in i'm not going too hard and then i'm just Tapping it all over and again I'm doing the same thing just on the very very high points of the cheek bringing it in a little bit there you go hmm I have to admit this looks a lot better than like I just like how diffused that looks let's go over with the brush this has no extra product in it, so it's just for blending. Hmm. I prefer how it looks on the other side. I mean, this one does m make it melt into your skin a little bit more. But, uh, I don't know, man. I prefer this side. It looks better. Okay, and then which blush should we go for? I kind of want to try the deeper one which is called Wildflower. I want to try that one. Just because it's not quite uh, spring yet. But I don't know, would it go with my eye look? Hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Don't matter if it doesn't go. It's okay. So that, that's what makes it all about. Playing with it, having fun. Light tapping of it. This is a dual fiber brush, so, uh, I mean, a synthetic, um, lash brush, and it's not very dense, so it helps for really, really diffusing that, um, lash color and not packing it into the cheeks, so you can, well, yes, you can. If you're like me, you can definitely go overboard, but if you're a normal human being, who applies normal amounts of blush, you cannot go overboard. Hmm, I feel like it plays very nicely with the eye look. By the way, um, what I have on my eyes is the um, Dream Street palette from ColourPop um, in collaboration with uh, Kathleen Lights. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful and it kind of mm, makes the bronzer look like we put a, put a little bit of blush on it right so it ties pretty well with bronzer it ties in pretty well with the bronzer and i'm taking a little bit on my finger i'm putting it all oh that is some that is pigment it right there holy guacamole okay i definitely need the brush to blend that out what do you guys think still super harsh maybe did i go overboard yeah i'm pretty sure i did but i really like this color freaking highlighter oh my goodness it looks so darn pretty by the way that's gorgeous 
and look at her. She looks so pretty. I freaking love Whaley. And she's actually the reason why I started watching YouTube. It's terrible, but her iconic uh, how to put on a tampon video. That, man, I was uh, 18, I think, I'm trying to figure out how to live my life. And she, her video just um, opened up my eyes, saved my life. And from then on, I was addicted to YouTube. I was addicted to Whaley and her channel. She was the first YouTuber I ever watched. And um, final thoughts. So is this a, you know, this is from Physicians Formula. I do love their formula for both blushes and bronzers. I had never tried their um, highlighting formula until I bought the Casey Holmes palette. Th the highlighter in that palette is not my favorite because it has chunky glitter on it. Can you still work with it? Yes. Does it look nice on like flirty summery days? Yes, it looks very nice, but it wasn't my favorite. Comparing that highlighter to this one, um, I definitely feel like these are a little bit more workable, more everyday um, kind of um, highlighters. And that one is a little bit more on the creamy, bouncy side of things, which is what I've heard is more like the formula of their um, uh, highlighters, their single highlighters. Now, if uh, you ask me, do you abs... Uh, um, Comparing the formula from the blushes and the bronzers to the formula of the single um, pot bronzers and blushes that they have. I prefer the original deep bronzer because it's a lot more cool tone than the one in here. It's actually even more cool tone than the um, sunset bronzer that's in here. And the sunset bronzer is supposed to be a more glowy bronzer. I don't feel like it shows a lot of glow. I feel like it's just a regular bronzer. Here, the original bronzer is a lot more matte, but it does have a sheen to it. But it's still, when you apply it to your skin, it looks like a skin-like finish. It doesn't look matte. This one, same thing, skin-like finish. I just think that maybe there was a mix-up during um, production and the two blushes are actually swapped. I'm hoping. Even so, the deep bronzer, n n neither of the bronzers looks like the deep bronzer. This one's a lot more cool tone. I prefer this one. Would I Will I continue using this? Hell yeah, because I love Physicians Formula um, formula for bronzers and blushes. Um, their blushes, amazing. I love them. They're exactly the same as their regular blushes. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep wearing this. Let me finish my makeup and see how the whole thing looks at the end. Okay, well, I'm back. And, um, well, you got most of my final thoughts in the previous clip, but just to reiterate, um, will I keep using this? Yes. Why did I buy it? Because I support Whaley for being basically the first person to introduce me to YouTube in the makeup community. Um, now, is it a run out and get it? You're missing it from your collection. If you are just starting out, you know, wearing bronzers, um, blushes, highlighter, this would be a great thing to get if you're a beginner. If you uh, are just starting a collection or if you just run out of those things. Do you absolutely need to go and get it and purchase this exact one right now? Because, you know, even if you have a million bronzers and blushes, no, I don't think so. I think that you can definitely get really good use out of it. But is it an absolutely go and get it? No. If you want to support her, sure, buy it. If you are a makeup collector, sure, buy it. But for me, this was something I purchased because I support uh, the creator. I love the actual brand Physicians Formula. 
and as you can tell they look pretty great um so yeah that's that's that, that those are my two cents on this and uh so we'll, we'll we'll see what we'll do um um next time on our next review and if you found this video useful entertaining or took something from it let me know down below give it a like you know share this video friends family on facebook even if you want to <laughs> um do that because um i sure will and um just let me know if there's any other types of videos you'd like to see yeah so see you next time guys bye